What's good, crazy emulation? We back at it with another emulation video. UFC 3 right on the RJ Ally on the RPCS3 emulator. Um, this is 18 watts um, on the current sense that I uh, currently have at the moment. The game did run pretty well. Um, I feel like you really don't need turbo for this game. I just feel like you have to mess with some of the settings. I um, also like to inform you guys that um, I have my VRAM and the RG set to auto. Recently, I changed it to eight, and a lot of the PS3 games have been running a lot better. So I will be making updated videos for you guys on some of the games that did take a huge effect. And to be honest with you guys, a lot of them took a really good effect, like WWE 2K13 and 14, the Motor Storm. Like I will be making updated videos for y'all with this. Um, but enjoy the game. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I was leaving requests.
winner. Guys, uh, welcome to the second part of this video. Um, this is with me running with um, some more different settings. The game was a lot more stable, in my opinion, and did run a lot bit better. Um, but like I said before, I will be making an updated video on this game with the eight gigs of GPU memory sets instead of me having it set on auto. The game ran a lot better, I promise y'all that. And I also will be up dropping the updated version of Fight Night Champion, running at 60 FPS on here, um, which runs really, really smooth. So stay tuned for that as well. Matchup between lightning fast striker Mike Swick and one of the most lethal strikers in the world today, the Brazilian Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva making his way to the octagon and he has his crowd fired up anderson silva's our tale of the tape is brought to you by edge shape gel get your edge we are now set for the official introductions and with that here is bruce buffer ladies and gentlemen this fight this man is a muay thai and, and now and when the action begins anderson silva mike swick Round one is underway. Anderson Silva has fought the majority of his fights in the UFC as the middleweight, middleweight champion. Went to 205, may go back there again sometime in the future. The thing is, Anderson Silva walks around at about 210, 215 pounds. So 85 is never a problem for him to get to, Joe. But 205 is a very comfortable weight for him. He certainly has the frame to carry 205. He looked very solid when he fought James Irvin, his debut in the UFC at 205. And the destruction that he put on James Irvin was evidence that he is just as effective at that weight class as he did uh, as he is at 185. Because James Irvin is a very tough guy. Spinning back fist. Big connection. Oh, big shot. He's down. He ate that one. And again. He loves throwing that punch. Joe, let's see what he chooses to do here. Let's wrapping it up right here. I hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay. Um, and thank you for the guys I was mentioning that I've got to put the settings down on some of the games. Sometimes I just um, had not put the screenshots up yet and I was waiting for it to go on a Google Drive or I just do forget. So thank you for the guys that do remind me that I've got to put the settings on. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, subscribe, all the requests, and I'll see you guys later.